Hey everyone, how's it going? It's time for another surprise fold video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a stitch surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our stitch surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. So I'm going to go ahead and fold my paper in half, just like I'm making a birthday card. I'm going to line up the corners and give it a nice fold down the middle. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to line up the corners again, and I'm going to give it another nice fold. So it's like I'm making a big bookmark. Now when I open this up, I've got these nice little guidelines in here that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing at. Now to start off with our stitch surprise fold, let's begin by making the head. So I'm going to begin right here, and I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come up to here. I'm going to put a couple little bumps on here for some hair. Then I'm going to bring this down to here. Next, I'm going to draw a little line. It's just going to come down. We're going to go over and up to here. Now, for the ears, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line. It's going to come up, and it's going to curve down a little bit. I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to come up, and then I'm going to curve down a little bit. Right here, I'm going to make a little line. It's going to go in and out. And then I'm going to curve down and in. Now, on this one, I'm going to come down. I'll make a little uh, point that goes in and out. And then I'll bring it into here. Now, starting here, I'm going to bring this line down and in. And we'll do the same thing here. I'm going to bring this line down and then in for the top of the ear. Now, right here in the middle, I'm going to make the nose. So I'm going to start by making a line that's going to come up. I'm going to curve it around. And then I'm going to bring it down, almost kind of like a rounded upside down triangle. Next, I'm going to bring a line that's going to come up and down. And I'll do the same thing over here. We're just going to come up and down. Then I'm going to bring this line across, and I'm going to bring this line across. Now inside of here, I'm going to make some big eyes. So I'm going to make a big line that's just going to come up and down. Then I'm just going to curve down and then back up. Same thing here. I'm going to curve this line up and down. Then I'm going to curve this one down and then up. I'm going to put a little circle at the top for the reflection in the eyes. And then right here, I'm going to make a little bump on each side for the nose. Then right here, I'm going to make one and two little lines for a little wrinkle above the nose. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. It's going to go up down and back up here. Now let's make the little body down here. Starting here, I'm going to go down and bring it down here. And same thing here, I'm going to come down, bring it out, and then down. Right here, I'm going to make this line come down to here. And same thing here. I'm just going to bring this line down to here. And I'll make a little line up here for the arms. Now our next step is to open this up and draw the inside. Now once I open this up, I have two halves of my stitch, the top and the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this line down a little bit on this side and down a little bit on this side, right past that fold. And then I'm going to bring this line up a little bit on each side above the fold. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. It's going to come up really close to the fold. It's going to go back down and then up like this. And then I'm going to make a little line here and then a little line right here. 
Then I'm going to bring this line down a little bit and this line down a little bit. And then right here, I'm going to make a big smile right here, right above the fold. Now, I want to draw some different foods in here before I finish off the mouth. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to make some ice cream. So I'm going to draw a circle shape right here. I'm going to leave the bottom open. Then I'm going to make some wavy lines. Then I'm going to make a big V shape right here. Then I'll just draw a couple little curved lines across. Over here, I'm going to make an open oval shape like this. Then I'll draw a line that's going to come around. We're going to go down. And then I'm going to bring this up and in like that. I'm going to draw a little straw here so it's like a little coconut drink. So we're going to make a little straw shape with a little curve there. And then I'll make a little umbrella up here. We'll make a sad face. And then we'll make some little bumps across here. Then we'll just connect these two lines. And then over here, I'm going to make a piece of cake. So I'm going to draw a little line like this. I'll make a little triangle shape. Make a line that comes down, over, and up. I'll make some bumps across the top. And then I'll go down, we'll go over, and we'll connect to here. And I'll make a little wavy line in here. Next, I'm going to connect these lines. So I'm going to bring this line down. We're going to jump over all this, and it's going to connect to here. And I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to bring this line down to here. I'm going to bring this line down. And then I'm going to bring this line down. Now I'm going to make some sharp teeth. So I'm going to make some sharp teeth right across here. Now I'm going to make some sharp teeth right across here. I'm going to make some bumps right here for the tongue. And then I'm going to make a curved line that comes down and up like this for the back of the throat. And then the last thing I'm going to do is right on here, I'm going to make a couple little bumps for his little hair. And there you go. When I have it all folded up, I've got a happy little stitch face. And then when I open it up, he's got his mouth full of food. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.